Holy shit, we're Yo, here. It's we beginning. Made it. Top eight of the Big Cheese Four, the biggest, most important major in uh, Oceania the, and the Southern Hemisphere. The biggest cheese yet. This is a top eight jump scare right into it. I know. <laughs> we're off. <laughs> and Ruben, the people's champ of today, uh, made it to top eight. Heartbreak represented Jordy, my, uh, my housemate, but uh, he's playing well today. Yeah, not a, not a heartbreak if you're a Ruben fan. In fact, quite the opposite, a heart maker. Many people's hearts fluttering today. There's a lot of Ruben fans in the crowd. Yeah, the Nang Gang is out in full force. Uh, letting us know how many yobs he's had. I, I, don't, I don't know what that is. 16. Oh, 16. 19, 19 at last count. Yeah. Yeah, they, they haven't been making the signs uh, in time to keep up with the amount of yobs. The sheer quantity of yobs. Yeah, the, the, the sign economy is really not able to keep up with the yob consumption. And, uh, you know who is able to keep up with the yob consumption of Ruben? Uh, Lax. Not Lax. Just a, just a classic player. He's from Queenland, the land of yob. The land of the Yob, and he's no stranger to these top eights. He's kind of a top eight mainstay these days. Exactly. Both of these players, top eight mainstays. Ruben, yeah. no matter how rusty you think he might be, he will always make it a top eight. No matter how little melee he's played, no matter what hour of the night he was up to. You know what? Jordy was a little heartbroken after that set, but he said, you know what? Ruben will always make top eight. You can't fight nature. And it's on home turf as well, you know. At any given bam, he can do it, but... Cheese is just an inevitability. Any given he Sunday. Is. Any given Sunday. Crazy movie. Boom. And the crowd already going wild for Ruben with that uh, pretty, pretty normal style down smash. Yeah, Nangang loves it. I don't know how much of the crowd mic you guys have, but I'm sure at some point the crowd will seep through. Oh, yeah, we got the crowd mic? Yeah, they'll be seeping through. Some crazy chants went off in the, uh, the Jordy Nang set. <laughs> And one thing you have to be really careful about, uh, as Lax in this matchup against Nack and Nank's particular, uh, coming off that top flat with, uh, with aerials. Yeah. Nank is waiting in the corner, like a little shot. Ooh! That's how we ended the Jordy set, just reading that high up E, and Lax is a bit of a theme for that kind of drift back high up E. A lot of, it's hard to cover if you kind of don't react and wait on stage, but if you read it, yeah, he's a reader. easy he's back a watcher. And, uh, something that, oh my. Something that uh, Monkey was uh, killing Ruben with a lot uh, in their set earlier on the stage was shine off the top at ridiculously low percents. It's just insane how early that kills on this stage. Yeah, Nang's always willing to go to Yoshi's and stuff, which is super interesting to me. I think he gets so much mileage off wave dash back down smash in the corner. Yeah. yeah um, recovery's good as well, like as you can see, Randall getting in the mix. You know, I, I said uh, Nang was like a shark, but I don't think he is. He's like a. Uh, He's like one of those crabs that like lives in a hole. Lives in a hole. A little hermit crab. A little hermit crab. He's a, he's a funnel web spider. Uh, for those of you un uninitiated in Australian spider varieties, he sits in his little hole in the corner sometimes. And uh, if you walk into his trap, it's up. You don't walk into his trap. He's kind of like a. I've heard it being described as the bear trap. Yeah, Joshi once said uh, they want to tap you. I think he might have been uh, exaggerating a little bit, but they've been known to. Nags will win that Max, uh, Lax, uh, taken to the gun right there. Getting it done with just an F tilt, I believe. Um, not messing with Ruben in the corner, saying you're in high percent. But mid percent, it's so much worse EV for me to go in there, bomb an aerial, and maybe get the buzzers. But this is going to be a kill where it lasts off game one. I love that forward air by Nang to beat the, uh, the shield on the side of the platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Multiple attacks. Old school but also new school. Anti shield push off tech. Yeah. Ooh. Just missing on the down tilt. Oh! oh whoa! Whoa! Wow, he clanked? Oh, did it? It didn't reflect, he clanked. The, with the one frame of invincibility. Yeah, I was gonna say the one frame. <laughs> That's crazy. You rarely see that. Yeah, just the ref I don't think the reflector comes out frame one, does it? No, it comes out frame four. Yeah. Uh, so the frame dot and nerds attack. The, the invulnerability of the comes out. Wow, unreal. That's, uh, dare I say it, lucky. I, I think you can get away with shooting a few less lasers against Ruben, because Ruben will, like, whiff grabs. And yeah. if you're shooting constant lasers, you're never going to get a chance to punish those. Uh, my theory against Ruben back in the day in this match in particular, uh, spam down air. Like that. Yeah. Oh, weak. Got to avoid the down air here from Lax. Oh, just... Great get shield up shine. One more chance. Okay. Well, it doesn't go to Randall. He's not even interested. Wait a okay, uh, I thought it was laser ass smash was coming. Oh, big back air. He just finds him up there. Crowd going nuts. 
And Ruben, I've, I was saying uh, earlier today, insanely clutch player because he just shows up and uh, he likes the game. He was telling me um, that like um, he already lost to uh, Monke in winners, right? Yeah. And he was telling me, I mean, what else do I have to lose? That's kind of like that's kind of worst case scenario for him, you know. And then he's like, well, now I can just kind of play and like. You know, nothing worse than that is going to happen, at least in his eyes. So he is a man unshackled. That's correct. I think that might have been the difference in the uh, the Jordy Ruben set. Yeah. Was, honestly, Jordy took the loss to Vinny a little hard. And uh, Ruben, he's always got a smile on his face. He's always got gold in his uh, belly. Yeah, he um he did lose to Jordy in the full set, but you know, for this set, I think uh, he had a little less baggage, a little less weight on his mind, knowing that he can just kind of go in and play his game. He's light as a feather right now. Right now, he's made top eight. He's one of his boys. He's got nothing left to prove, but like anything, you know, after this is extra credit, and he is taking it to the bank. And uh, Lax decided to go to FB instead of Yoshi, which is what he's done. Um, really abusing the uh, Ruben's tendency to up the out of shield. Honestly, it's like uh, Samus's only option. Yeah. Uh, and also, you have so much space to like retreat against Samus on this stage. You don't really have to get hit. Ruben will whiff a lot of grabs out of the corner, especially. So, uh, good stage choice, and Lax is uh, making it work. Yeah. One thing I worry about with Lax on this stage, he does have a tendency to jump into the air. Uh, he's really good at it. He's one of the best full hoppers uh, in Australia, I would say, as soccer. But uh, a little bit scary when you don't have a way to get down. If you're caught out um, against a callback to the Monkey set on this stage, um, Ruben caught him once at 0% with like two weak back airs and he just died. Yeah, that's a classic guy. Like 20. <laughs> oh, and he's oh, oh. Rips his blood done. That's one great trait of uh, Samus' grab. Because it's so slow, it breeds so many slot dodges. Yeah, right? I will say, Ruben as a player, whether he's on the Samus or on the Falcon, is, he lands like probably the highest amount of grabs per game yeah. in Australia. Like he, he loves to press that button. No one lands as many Samus grabs as he does. Yeah, he's like a moth in a Samus body. Yeah. Max is a... Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, he's fine. But, yeah, he's gonna... What are you just rushed into it? Oh my god. Where are you going, like? I was gonna say he's got a clean lead, but now he's got a, you know, a fleeting lead. It's so nice when you're a Samus and you just shoot a hopeful missile. And they just go do the right thing. <laughs> it's like, missiles kind of like Dr. Laser. You land laggedly. If you're yeah. landing, you may as well shoot one. If they run into it, shoot yeah. it. Exactly. Again, Lax. And Lax is playing with fire yeah. with these jabs, because Samus can through CC jab really high. Uh, but it gets away with a death. For the, uh, for the last time, I promise, but in the Monkey set, right? The way Monkey won uh, was uh, Ruben just didn't know how to deal with the Falco full hop. Monkey was just full hopping around, and it was just working. I, that was great. You got the grab release. Yeah, yeah we do have so much data on uh, Ruben vs. Stumper in this tournament. So let's see if... Uh, ooh, ooh, clean. See if in these coming games, like, on that stage, Falco is just free to kind of full hop around, you know. Yeah, big whiff on that floor now, but uh, good job from Lax to bait it out there. Ready? Notice Fountain. Really interesting. I don't think I like it. Uh, I'm at, sorry, actually. You know what? I know how kind of this works. <laughs> thought it was the other guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. Happens. Happened to me. I thought Tid was snurt, so... Ooh. Crucial mistake. Yeah. Another big lead. Oh! Doesn't recognize that he was going to bounce off the stage and, uh... Could have been another down air. It's really hard to beat, uh, Tad there. Mm -hmm. I think you just have to wait on the ledge. You can, like, shine back air or something. But then Ruben could have done, like, uh, an up with a wall jump up here or something. Yeah. There's a lot of mix-ups okay. here. Ooh! Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. I don't think I've seen that as a response to Samus Tether before, but... Yeah, that's all or nothing. And he had no reason to go for that big of a gamble. That's 30%. No oh, yeah. job. That's the lax experience. He's going for it sometimes. Yeah. The thing is, Samus can mix up when she comes up from the tether, and so it's really risky to like kind of go for something down there to hit her, yeah. randomly miss, and then suddenly you're off stage and Samus is on the ledge. I mean, he would have been ultra dead. Yeah. Okay, yep. Splits it up, not too much percent on Ruben right now. That's good coverage. I wonder if he can get around the dash attack there. Maybe get like a weak hit on the dash attack. 
get some little upwards, but yeah. And uh, I'm not sure whether Lax has game sound, but you can tell when Samus jumps a lot of the time. She makes a pretty conspicuous noise. Yeah, she's also uh, a, an expert uh, dancer. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> uh, so yeah, kind of like the Luigi effect, where game sound is actually kind of a big deal on this matchup. Because yeah, uh, Ruben did burn his double jump in that combo before, and I don't think Lax realized. Yeah. Again, full hop, just over, over whatever Ruben's doing. Like, the goes full hopping, coming down with either like a bear or a dare, depending on the spacing. It's so hard for Samus to like deal with it. Yeah, great catch on that up throw. But uh, once again, he loves to grab from the corner. It's cheesy, but yeah. it works. It works. And so many Falcons set up their pressure around like baiting out the upbeat. They're rarely thinking about baiting out the grab. Yeah. And it's something you have to be so correct to react to. Yeah, a lot of people just aren't ready to like punish Samus Grab. They'll just be standing right in front of. Oh my, hello. Yeah, they'll be standing right in front of Samus while she's in her end lag and just not know what the punish is. They'll, a lot of the time they'll like grab, they'll like do a weird move that doesn't kill, and it's like. What? Yeah, yeah. The lazy boy, like the that. Cody? Yeah, the lazy boy. <laughs> Imagine if he charged out of that though. Yeah. Oh, speaking of. Shine. And blocks the second one, okay. A little scary there. Black's still in this, despite a pretty bad recovery in the low jump. That's oh. scary. Nah, no, doesn't get that. And he's alive. <laughs> God, it's not like you kill Samus in there. Still manages to get the sweet spot there. Oh. Retreating over there. Yeah, I don't, think, I don't think he landed on stage, but I may be misremembering. Yeah. Ruben's getting like 1% of the time with like up B trades and grapple trades. It's a good percentage for him now. Yeah. Uh, you know, any kind of stray down smash or big nag is kind of going to send Lax off stage. Now, you freaking know something. You know that level. Oh, oh my <laughs> god! What a beast! Yo, did he just uh, walk up? Yep. He, he walked up. Hey, anyone in chat? He just woke up. My man walked up. <laughs> uh, any, any, any melee fans in chat? That's such a statement right there. Oh my I god. He just woke up. That's a, kind of a representative of the kind of player Ruben is. He wants to bet it all on a big read, and he's looking at the screen, he's looking at what his opponent is doing, and he's reacting. That's another way he's going to shot. He's like, yeah, very much like a, like a funnel web spider or like a, like an owl. Mm. Some kind of hybrid of those two. <laughs> uh, does that exist? Anyone? Any animal guys? Yeah. Oh my. Ooh. That's what I was saying. It covers so many spot dodge and roll timings. Yeah, it's crazy how often you get hit by Samus Crab and you're like, what the hell? Fun fact, it cannot hit an airborne character, so if yeah. you're in the air, uh, yeah, you're good. good. Oh, no. Woo! Love that. Took the scenic grab for the net. And, oh, gets the sprung back in there. Uh, reads the drift. And I just saw Ruben's keys fall out of his pocket on stage. And Ruben don't make a single flip. Uh, Does not even realize. Didn't get the sweet spot there, but Lax rolled up. Oh, no. Charge shot. <laughs> he really bent it all with that oh. death match and uh, nearly died for it. Oh, shit. oh my god, the jabs. The hugs 86 right there. Yeah, such a oh! Once again, two in a row, charge shots right off the ledge. Uh, Lax saying, like, respect my stage, but not really doing anything to actually, like, make her respect it. Yeah. Not watching close enough. Yeah, there it is. Oh, and he gets the wall jump there? Yeah, that's good. See, such a good mix up off the tether. Oh. Um, I think an up smash out of shield would have killed there. Instead, he just grabs, and now he's going to deal with this. He still watches Jordy Bots. Mm -hmm. yeah, one of the only up smash out of shielding guys. Uh, pretty, pretty, there. pretty bad up B from Ruben there. And, uh, Lax needed that. Because Lax was not ready to like commit to a hard read on the edge of that. He was yeah. just going to hang bears there forever. And you can't get around this. That's not it. Doing the kind of like, you know, ledge hop or like full hop, like kind of back here and hit the ledge is just so safe and it's just so nice when you get it. You're like, thank God I didn't have to do a hard up or risky thing. That's the Ruben, by the way. You F throw Ruben, he will always double jump wave line on the platform. So if any of you are uh, ever playing Ruben in the future, feel free to use that. RNG, uh, really not good. I told him about that before Phantom. And he won? Uh, yeah, and he won. That's a classic Ruben habit. You know, I asked um, Josh before I played Muscat, I was like, what does Muscat do that I can, like, you know, cotton on to? And he's like, 
nothing, man. <laughs> yeah, he's got the most normal style. He's just so normal style, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> the no twerk style. Yeah, I was like, what does he do more than other, you know, kind of things? Like, no, I got nothing Just imagine, like, an amalgam of every fox. Ruben, though, he's got his quirks. He's a bit quirked up. Yeah, and uh, he was quirked up last night. Uh, 16 yards. So, 16, uh, and we've added at least counting. three. Okay. Ooh. Uh, Ruben's kind of dancing around this game, actually. Doing a lot of, like, empty waveland pressure. Mm. Yeah, it's... Kind of hard to see the line, like how Sam is going to get a lot out of that. It feels like Falcon's really going to fight, and right now, Lax is kind of not. I think Ruben knows he's throwing grabs so many times that uh, Lax is going to be afraid of stealing forever. Yeah. Look <laughs> uh, Surprisingly, didn't get the sweet spot there. Oh, oh jump read. Oh, he's going to jump. Oh, he really just really sniped out of that uh, tether, actually. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what? Oh, that's gonna. Oh, I thought that might kill. Insane. I thought it was such a choke from Lax, and then it was so genius, actually. Oh, catches a little top of his head there. Down there is such a fucked move. <laughs> you heard it here first. I, I, I can go with that wholeheartedly. And the crowd is really heating up, actually. Uh, we got a lost stuff. Yeah, and when it's lost stuff and it's Ruben, you're a little worried if you're a Falcon. One more spot for the Nang Gang. This is a real test of his metal as a player. Doesn't hold down there. You've got to hold down against those jabs. Again, now he's got a lead, and this is really everything for Lax. I don't like his shine there. It's not going to kill. Should have sent him back down to stage, but okay. dude, that's why they're in top eight, and I'm not. Oh, uh, oh <laughs> gets a spot dodge with the grab again. Oh, whoa! Oh! Aerial interrupt with that. that oh, no! Crazy. He's got his jump back, I think. He's going to go high. Oh, watch out for back air, Ruben. Lax. All of a sudden, so scary for Lax. Recompose here. Doesn't jump. Oh, no. That's, that's okay. It. We haven't seen many of those, but makes it out. Gets the ledge right, here. Look for a down tilt, I was going to say. Down tilt's going to kill at this percent, but... It's pretty much the only also, real safe kill option, I think. Yeah, that is so scary. He's going to look for it. He's going to fish. Lax is such a composed player. Okay. Oh, got the jump as well. Yeah. And Ruben nearly lives it, but... Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say that aerial interrupt down smash. I'm pretty sure was a tech chase down air that he was trying to do. <laughs> you yeah, think? Yeah, I think he was trying to double jump down air. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. it looked so slack. Yeah, it did look really slack. Oh, oh, uh oh! I've seen this. Oh, <laughs> so exactly the same as Jordy vs. Yeah. Nang's game five. That's <laughs> such a trap that Falco's fell into a lot. I believe it was like Ginger or someone who was like. If you're at low percent, you can double jump back up B, because then even if they back air you, you can side B before they can do anything. But yeah. I think I think Ginger, I think he was talking about Sheik. But if you'll notice, Ruben's playing Samus right now, and he absolutely took that to the bank. Yeah, notice the power suit, the, the barrier suit. Yeah. That is a different woman. <laughs> Not all women are the same, Ginger. <laughs> should name a woman, Ginger. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that's a choke! Letting Lex right back into the game. <laughs> oh god. Suddenly the, the huge lead has slipped away and there's now a regular style lead. But now it's huge again. Oh, it's huge again. And He's Ruben is a mode. game 5 legend. When the crowd starts heating up, people start freaking out. Ruben is unfazed. He's got yeah. the sunny. It does help that in general they're freaking out for him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, my god. And he's like so powered up when he knows to look for panic options as well. Yeah, he's electrifying right now. All eyes on the Samus. Exactly. Who is even? Who is the other character right now? I don't know. <laughs> he's just waiting. It's like, it's like the little guy in that uh, that one Simpsons fight. He's oh, waiting for him to Lax do something. Oh, is so desperate, and he's gonna die for it. Oh, 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 big charge! He might make it on here. Okay. Gets ledge. Great Ang, but terrible tournament winner. He's not executing. Gets the ledge finally. Okay, really how is he going to get a kill on Dreamland here? This is so tough. Oh! Okay, so big good. read. 71. He needs a big call out there. Such an early kill. And he's really going to make the last of this stock count. The dregs. Okay. Uh -oh. oh, doesn't get the full through down there. He's choking a little bit. It's a game five. Oh, oh he's, he's just chasing him around. Dead. 
He's simply dead. I said he was a funnel left, but he really looked like a shot there. Oh my god. In his jaws. Oh, tries to read the spot dodge, but Lax holding shield, that'll work anyway. Can Lax snatch victory from the shark jaws of Ruben? Yeah, the, the vice grip of Ruben right now. I don't think Ruben's gonna let go. In SA, in his home turf. Yeah. Is this freaking boys behind him? With 16 yobs? Oh, say, 19? Such a in hard, his gut? Yeah, such a hard comeback to make against Samus. Like, oh, oh my Hux 86! He's going crazy! Holy everything shit. is working out for him right now. Oh, my, everything's coming Oh, it's so over. Oh! oh! <laughs> and there it is! Nank Gang! Coming out in full force. Hey, 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 hey. Check hey. it out. Check it out. We knew. We knew the whole time. We were sitting on this. Hey, there he goes. My boy. Yeah, somebody get rid of that Lax gang sign. <laughs> Just, uh, I don't want to be seen with it. No, no, no. The Lax pack. <laughs> the Lax pack and Shambles. All three of them. Hey. <laughs> Shoutouts to the Lax pack, though. Lax putting on a good performance at this tournament. Defeating Muscat to get to top eight. That's a huge win. Defeating Skip SSB SSBM Emin Pools, another huge win. I saw that. Mm -hmm. He went pretty, pretty he, polo loco. He went sicko loco. mode in game three. Yeah. He was down two stocks to four. It's looking like curtains. And he uh, just went killing mode. Yeah, Lax finds a way sometimes. Not today, unfortunately. Not in top eight losers, but uh, sometimes you just run into the brick wall that is uh, Ruben. 